Hi guys. Okay, so I am new. I'm new to glitter tumblers and I this will be the first tumbler that I actually do anything with epoxy on. And when you look all over the internet, you see videos of people with their automated uh, cup tisseries, as they call them. Um, but being that I don't know if I'm really going to do this as a business, I didn't want to spend the money on a motor and stuff like that. So I was looking for the inter through the internet for hand-operated cup tisseries, and I couldn't really find any. So last night I was racking my brain and I finally thought of something. So this will be me putting it together and it did not cost me any more than what, maybe $20. Um, so Nerf football from Dollar Tree, $1. Um, some PVC pipe, I got three quarter inch pieces. So three quarter inch pipe um, and three quarter inch connectors. That was maybe like maybe five dollars this box i already had um i just took the bag of wine out and these rocks were free 99 when i passed them on the side of the road it's just going to be a wait for the box so i already cut everything down um this piece of pipe like i said it's three quarter inch pvc um i cut it to 24 inches to fit inside of this box which is seven inches in length um these pieces are going to be for the handle to turn the cup tessery. This particular piece is five inches. This is what my hand will actually grip. And then, excuse me, five and a half inches. And this piece is three inches, which will connect the two here. Um, I've already drawn my circle on my box for putting the PVC through. I just, I put it where I thought it would be high enough for the cup not to touch you know while I'm turning and also tall enough for the handle not to hit the table um, and I just measured I put it on there and I measured so we're looking at on either side it's one and a quarter inch and then from the top down it's one and three quarter inches so now what I'm going to do is just cut this with my exacto knife um, Just a side note about the rocks that I got. Um, like I said, I got them from the side of the road. They were pretty dirty, so I did bring them home. As soon as I got home, I put them in a bath um, with some cleaner and then washed them off. There were a couple rocks that um, had some green on them, and I did not want to deal with that because green typically means mold. Mold grows and not about that much so be careful with that but I just needed a weight for the bottom of the box because um, you want to make sure that the box doesn't move as you're turning your cup and like I said I am a complete novice I have never put epoxy on a cup before um, but I saw videos of people who did not have the cup tissery and just did it by hand and it's just a little bit easier to have the cup turning so that the epoxy can level itself instead of having to deal with you know um possible drips happening because the cup is in a stagnant position and maybe you forgot to turn it okay so that is that cut the two pieces out now I'm going to put the rocks in I'm actually going to put them in a bag first and they're actually pretty heavy I'm actually I'm lucky I found some, some heavy rocks um, just going to tie the bag up but leave it loose enough so the rocks can spread out at the bottom of the box Not do that again. 
Okay. And then I'll deal with, I'll, um, I'll most likely just tape this down. I have, let me just do that now. I'm pretty sure any tape will work, so. And we'll use this. We are going to thread through our 24 inch piece of PVC pipe. See how it fits right through. Get it to the other side. Perfect. And it's tight enough where it's it's secure, but it's loose enough where you can turn it. Um, then I'm connecting this piece. which is the first part of our handle. Then we put in the shorter piece. This doesn't really need to be all that long. It's really just to connect the other, um, the long piece, but mine was three inches. I just figured that would work. Cause you gotta remember um, when you put it in the, the elbow, it, you know, some of it goes up inside. I think that's what maybe a half inch that goes up inside so you know, be careful about that but just secure this one on and then put in your final piece and me I'm just it's just how I am I'm weird and I like finish things so I didn't want to leave this just like that so I also got a cap you don't have to get the cap but it's super cheap it's, it's not really that expensive so now you have that, but we're not done yet. Um, I noticed a lot of people use these, so I decided, you know, to stick with what works. Um, again, it's just a Nerf football from the Dollar Tree. This part here, it does come out. You just twist it, it'll disconnect. Um, it will have a little bit of whatever uh, Nerf left inside, but that shouldn't really be an issue. Um, and I'm hoping this fits, so let's see. Oh, and of course it doesn't fit, but we'll make it work. Oh, no. hmm, I wonder what I might have to do is, well, that still doesn't matter. Maybe I should have gotten a half inch like everyone else did. There's a dirty joke that can fit in here, but I'm not going to do it. can hear it I can hear the um, the nerf kind of breaking up which is kind of good because then it just means that the ball is, is fit on there more securely um, and so there we have that and the cut will fit over how it's supposed to fit over like so the cup is secure and now you can put on your epoxy I'll probably bring this closer on your epoxy. My glitter's still coming off. See? Novice. Anyways, um, put on the epoxy and turn it. And there you have it. A cup tisserie under $20. Um, what I actually might end up doing um, is getting the connect. I might cut this here and get a connecting piece so that when I'm done with the cup, I can take it off the cup tisserie and um, sit it somewhere and then, you know, work on the next cup. Because now what I've kind of, the corner I've kind of backed myself into is that say if I want to do two cups at once and I finish one cup, 
um, I have to wait for this to, you know, completely do its thing before I can move it somewhere because I have to take it off the, the ball. But what's that? Maybe another 67 cents, I think is what it costs. So we're still under our $20 mark. Um, but I'm, I'm actually really, really happy that this worked out. So we just got to make sure if you pull it back, there we go. And who knows, maybe one day I'll make this a permanent thing and I'll finally get a, a motor. But until then, I think we did good.